What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully amazing. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guide us in our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, your work, and your work in our lives. Thank you so much, Spirit. So we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's all in our energy today. Um, we're going to see if there's any updates or progress in our current situations. Anything we need to be aware of. Anything we don't see coming. The usual. Um, hopefully everybody's enjoying the day. Um, today is Monday. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the day. If you're working, you're not working too hard. I've never done this on a video, but I just want to do, because I know there are certain people that watch me, that know me in real life. This is a general statement. This applies to everybody, but especially to the people who know me in real life. When I get up here and I do a reading, I am not talking about anyone specifically. I pull these cards and I give a reading based on the definition of the card and the energy that I feel when I pull the card. If you in any way, shape, or form take it personal or it resonates for you, then that is something that you yourself need to reflect on. I don't sit here and pretend that I'm better than anybody because I'm not. You know, up until, la up until last year, I was probably a karmic myself. I had a lot of karmic tendencies. You know, I was in and out of drug addiction for 10 years. And then I found spirituality. And, you know, certain things just didn't matter anymore. Certain things, certain places, and certain people just did not matter anymore. So if you're a person of my past, then that's why you are a person of my past. You know, there comes a point when everybody has to cut off things, places, and people that no longer serve them. But I just felt, I feel, you know, even if it's a, a karmic, I know I have cross watchers, you know, with all due respect, respectfully. I'm not talking about any specific person. There's a definition of the card and there's the energy I feel when I pull it. Like I said, if that if that resonates for you or you come up as karmic energy or you come up as a shady individual, then maybe that's something you should reflect on. And no, it's not that, oh, he thinks he's better. I'm not better than anybody. I've just made changes. You know, don't fault me. Same people, man, collective, y'all know. Same people that run you down in the ground. Supposed to be your friends, supposed to be your family, supposed to be your lover, supposed to have your back. These people switch up on you, then they want to play victim. Like I say, if it resonates, that's something you need to you need to take up with the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror. You know, I'm not calling anybody out. I don't talk about you. I try to forget a lot of you people. So I'm not talking about you. I'm giving a tarot reading. Get over yourself. Typical narcissist behavior. People think everything is about you. It's always about you, right? Anyway. I had to get that off. Hey, collective. Hey, fam. <laughs> Hi, karmics. All right, I'm going to put three cards for overall energy. The wheel. Baby. A fresh new start or the end of delays. Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. Well, that just changed my mood. <laughs> Baby. The sun. Come through. A time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. The sun. Praise God. Thank you, God. Praise God. Hey, gratitude to the divine. Collective. I cannot make this up. Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. Ten of Pentacles. We have the wheel, the sun, and Ten of Pentacles for overall energy. Bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and exciting. Intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. Page of Swords. Overall energy is beautiful. And I know I opened up this reading with a whole lot of energy I'm right out the gate, you know. But uh, this us collective, the wheel, the sun, and ten of pentacles. This is amazing. 
All right, uh, let me jump into the spread. See what, <laughs> see what we got going on. Because this is beautiful. Seriously, I was a little bit, you know, I had gotten my, in my chest for a second. And the, the overall energy, it changed my energy. Shoot. But collective, y'all know where we headed? You know where you headed, beloved? You know where you headed? All right, um, let's get into it. Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles in reverse. Karmic Connection in reverse. Intuitive Calf in reverse. Obsessed in reverse. Hidden Enemy in reverse. I already see where this is going. The World in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Imagine that. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Trash box in the upright. All these reversals. One card we get in the upright, trash box, trash bag. Go figure. <laughs> All right, Knight of Swords, you know, first card out. Uh, this talks about, um, it's talk about uh, taking impulsive action. Uh, it's a fast moving energy. So this is somebody coming towards you. Um, they're coming in quick, typically with some type of truth. They want to express something. Um, it's an impulsive action. Knight of Swords is clarified by Secrets. Queen of Pentacles. Hater in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. There's somebody that's planning. They may be planning, maybe uh, contemplating, um, coming towards you quickly. Maybe to express something, maybe to, uh, you know, do something. Uh, Knight of Swords, it's in the upright. So somebody's coming, you know, somebody might be coming towards you, maybe to, you know, with the sword of truth, hopefully to express some type of truth, to be honest for once, you know? Um, whoever it is that's coming towards you, they're coming secretly. They don't want anybody to know. They might not want you to know. They might be trying to catch you off guard. You know, get you in your feelings real quick. But yeah, whoever this is, you know, they're, they're coming for you. They're coming towards you. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. You know, this is you. Uh, collective energy. Queen of Pentacles can be a man or a woman. This person is in their bag and out of the mess. You know, uh, this person's focused on their, their growth, their independence, you know, their stability. Yeah, collective, there's somebody, if you're in Queen of Pentacles energy, there's somebody that wants to come towards you, but they want to do it secretly. Either they don't want anybody else to know, or they don't want you to know. You know, maybe both. They don't want anybody to know. Um, could be possibly to express some type of truth, you know, coming in with that, that sort of truth. This is somebody who I guess is not hating on you anymore. Maybe they did hate on you. Maybe they were a hater. Maybe this person talked trash about you. You know, they were working against you, whatever the case. Maybe they're not hating anymore. I mean, they might not like you, but you know, maybe they just don't, they don't, they don't exactly hate you anymore. This person's disappointed in themselves. You know, they're feeling, they're fearing rejection, could be feeling rejection, you know, feeling rejected. But uh, this is somebody that, you know, they're super disappointed. I mean, uh, it's got to be in something that they did, you know, we got hater in reverse. So apparently this person was a hater at some point. Four of Cups in reverse. I think this person, uh, they want to come towards you really quickly and maybe express some type of truth. They want to come towards you secretly, though. They have to come towards you secretly. Especially if this is somebody that lied on you. They can't they can't publicly come towards you because then they'd be exposed for the liars they are. But yeah, this is somebody that wants to come in secretly, express something, whatever the case. King of Pentacles in reverse. This should be your counterpart. It's the Queen of Pentacles. This should be your counterpart. However, this person is currently in distorted energy. This is a karmic. In karmic energy, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse, this person's arrogant, jealous, boastful, they lie. Um, it's a pretender, a narcissist, somebody that pretends they have it, and they really don't. You know, King of Pentacles got it. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse, this is a pretender. 
Somebody that likes to look like they got it. Person has a huge ego for no reason. <laughs> uh, King of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody broke. It's King of Pentacles in reverse is uh broke. Go figure. Um, and apparently out of options. This person don't have a whole lot of choices. He's not, you know, really having choices right now. This person is refusing to transform, refusing a rebirth, refusing a transformation. This is somebody who don't want to change. Somebody, you know, if you're dealing with this person romantically, which, you know, like I said, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, this should have been your counterpart. This is somebody that refused to change. They didn't want to make the necessary changes to make a relationship work or to even have a genuine friendship. And, you know, um, because of that, this could very well be a, perma a painful permanent ending. You know, but with death in reverse, this is somebody that didn't want to change and they're like refusing a permanent ending. It's like, no, I'm not going to change. You just have to deal with my narcissistic ways. Like, what? What they thought, collector? Six of Pentacles. It's somebody that wants to take from you. So, yeah, this King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that wants to come towards you secretly, you know, and maybe, you know, they were hating on you at one point. They're not hating on you anymore. This person's super, they feel rejected. They feel a sense of rejection. So, it, you know, for a lot of you, you've already rejected this person. Like, this is not, like, a thing for you. Um, this person's struggling financially. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, you know, could have been juggling you with another person. Um, this person, seven of cups in reverse. This person's out of options. They don't have a lot of choices right now. They could be, you know, coming out of an illusion or out of confusion as well. But, you know, uh, this is somebody that refused to change. They didn't want to change. You know, they don't want a permanent ending, though. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you know, this is a taker. This is not somebody, if you were dealing with this person, they didn't give to your connection. They gave to everybody else. They didn't give to your connection. There was no reciprocity, no generosity. They, they took from you. Emotionally, financially, whatever the case, they took from you. You know, this uh, very well could have been a karmic connection. Like I say, you know, everything that this person, all, and we're only online too, the energy I feel, everything this person will, like is already about, like, yeah, that's definitely karmic. You know, this could have been a karmic connection that you released. Because a lot of you know, you, you were supposed to learn that karmic lesson. These certain people come into your life to teach you that karmic lesson. Your job is to learn the lesson and go to the next cycle. Learn the lesson, pass the test, and keep it moving. Karmic connection in reverse is clarified by Ten of Pentacles. Of course, this is all they care about. This is all they care about. Be mindful of anybody from your past coming towards you because they're going through bad karma. They're super focused on the Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're going through bad karma. I guarantee almost every Pentacle that comes out is going to be in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have Ten of Pentacles in the upright, but you, you know that's yours, beloved. Like I say it's a DM, a DF. You, you're destined for this. TNT and on the clock as I say this. I'm recording early today. But TNT and on the clock as I say this. It's completion. It's a wrap. You know, we leave even folks, we leave even karmics and karmic cycles. Somebody's going through bad karma and you they're sitting around waiting for something. More than likely, some type of spell work. Y'all know we have that full moon uh early tomorrow morning. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So, you know, whatever rituals you guys do, whatever um, you know, prayers that you do, your affirmations, you know, uh Beef it up, you know, bulk, don't be afraid to bulk it up a little bit, um, you know, whatever, whatever you feel called to do. But, you know, they, a lot of karmic energies get busy when we have these. We have full moons, you know, uh, eclipses. Um, for, um, for most of you, for all of you, you know, this is going to be a really good, a good thing. You know, a lot of people are sitting around waiting on this moon cycle like, oh, okay, we're going to do some, some more bibbity bobbity boo some more hocus pocus and it's like no uh, for a lot of y'all you you who have already stepped out of that karmic cycle this is the beginning of the next phase this eclipse is phasing a lot of shit out of your life a lot of people out of your life chapters books will not reopen chapters will not be you know we're not re revisiting the old the past so um you know those of you who are tapped in if you connect with your peoples they probably done told you you know it's a lot of good things coming to y'all it's a lot of good things coming to you you know, and you deserve it. But like I said, somebody sitting around waiting on something, probably some type of spell work. They're in deep regret about whatever it is, whatever they did, whatever they're waiting for. Like I said, this is somebody in deep regret, but you know, they don't have the balls or the backbone to give you an apology. They'll never admit what they did. 
They'd just rather, they'd rather pretend or keep going on like they hate you when really, you know, you've done nothing to this person. Like they betrayed you in the worst ways, more than likely. And this person is, you know, they're full of regret about it. They feel bad about it. But you know, it takes a, like I say, collective. You all are strong. You have taken the road less traveled. It's not easy. You know, taking the path that you have chosen, it is not easy. It's not going to be easy. You gotta have tough skin. You know, you gotta have faith. You know, you gotta know who you are. And a lot of people just can't do it. You know, they're so busy, wrapped up in the 3D. You know, they're so concerned with, you know, outward appearances, you know, not using their intuition, not paying attention to signs of synchronicity. Two of Kevin Reverse is clarified by Nine of Swords. Somebody's stressed out. They didn't use their intuition. You know, they weren't thinking. They didn't think things through. Somebody you know was impulsive. Didn't give. And now they're in regret. Super stressed out at the Nine of Swords. It's also about worry, uh, stress, sleepless nights, depression. This person's having a lot of sex. You know, not, not, uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. It's also about sexual excess. Somebody that has a lot of sex. And like I said, in the beginning... I'm not talking about anyone specifically. I'm telling you what the cards mean and the energy I feel off of them. A collective, my tribe, y'all know I'm not talking to y'all in this tone of voice. I'm talking to the other people. <laughs> we, I'm talking to the other ones, the, the, the ones in the back. You know, I'm not talking about anybody. This is the energy off of the card and the definition of the card. Hook it up, Knight of Wands. Sexual excess, this is the energy I feel. Sexual excess. Somebody stressed out, maybe using sex to cope. I don't know, it's not my business. Yeah, because they did not get wish fulfillment. They got the opposite of what they wanted. This person might want to make a love offer. Knight of Cups, you know, somebody coming in to offer you that cup. Their cup of love, you know, I, I would check the cup. If I was you, I wouldn't drink nothing out the cup. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because somebody's obsessed. You know, obsessed in reverse, they could be coming out of obsession. You know, but um, obsessed in reverse, you know, they could also be like extremely pressed. Like this person, man, they use every spare moment to think about you and look at what you're doing. Obsessed in reverse is clarified by Eight of Swords. Somebody might be going to jail. Uh, could be in a mental prison, could be in a spiritual prison, you know, spiritually being locked out because of all their karmic debt. Um, or could be going to actual prison, could be in jail. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 8-8, eight, eight, again, yes, somebody. The magician in reverse. The hermit in reverse. Yes, somebody's still obsessed. They're still pressed and obsessed because this is like, you know, for a lot of these narcissists, for those of you who are empaths, you know that like we attract narcissists. And you know, until you, you really, re really wake up to that dynamic and educate yourself and stand in your power, you know, uh, it's easy to fall victim. It's easy to fall prey, y'all know. A lot of y'all been through it. Y'all share y'all stories with me, you know, and um, this is just, I mean, this is clear, clear as day. It's just that, you know, that, that narcissist behavior. This is somebody that refuses to take, you know, they don't want to take the actions they need to take. They don't want to say the things they need to say. They want to do the things they need to do to, you know, get in alignment or get what they want the right way. So this is somebody that, you know, uses dark manipulation. Magician in reverse. Could be doing black magic. This is mental manipulation, energy manipulation, waiting on the moon cycle. You know, these are people who like, they have not permanent reverse. These are people who are lost. They refuse to go inward for introspection. They don't know who they are. A lot of them could have like entity attachments, you know? They're not, it's not that person anyway. That person's been gone, you know? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who has not done any self-work. This talks about self-mastery. This is somebody who hasn't done any of the work. And now they're in a prison of some sort. Like I said, it could be mental, spiritual, actual, somebody locked up. They refuse to heal, refuse to go inward, you know? Like, it's not, I, mean, I'm, uh, I don't know. And a lot of y'all can, like, level with, you know, you get me because we went through this by ourselves. We had groups, whole groups of people that turned against us for whatever reason. Simply would not just let us be. Still won't let us be. They're still in our energy still won't let us be. And we healed those wounds on our own. Collective, that's why I love collective energy. You know how much of a beast y'all are? 
So many people came against you, you know, really like for no reason, no apparent reason other than you being you. And you came through that on your own. This was a group of people against you. You healed those wounds with the help of God, of course. But on your own, a lot of y'all didn't have help. A lot of us didn't. You know, especially going through a spiritual awakening, you're seeing shit, you know, hearing shit, and you know, um, things are coming, you're experiencing things that you never experienced before. It's, you know, a lot of us didn't have people to talk to. You know, who do you go to with something like that without them thinking you're crazy? Knowing that these karmics to run around and said you were crazy already, you know? Like it was set, it was a setup. And you know, most of us made it through. On on your own. Like on your own. You know, be proud of that, man. Okay, yeah, then we have a hidden enemy. A hidden enemy, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the hidden enemy is this person that refuses to go inward. This person that refuses to do the work. Uh, there was somebody working against you and they've been exposed. Somebody who was in competition with you. Whoever this is, they're mad. I feel the energy. Whoever this person that was secretly working against you and they've been revealed to you as an enemy... You know, either through a download you got or reading you watch, whatever the case, they're mad at you. This person's upset. Because they wanted stability. They wanted stability. Maybe they were competing with you. This person wanted stability. They wanted security. They might have wanted a, a union of some sort. This, song, this is the twin flame card. Whoever this is, this could be somebody like, you know, self-medicating. Smoking weed, doing drugs. I don't judge. Like I said, you know, I've never told y'all that, but I feel the need to say it because people, you know, I had somebody tell me, I think I'm, I'm better. You think you're better than everybody. You're no saint. I'm not a saint. I, you know, I just told y'all the other day I've been in jail 11 times. I used to fight all the time. I'm not a saint. I never claimed to be a saint. But what I am is honest and truthful. Go lie about shit. What am I lie for? To who? Shit, that's something, that's something these karmics can't say. They can't do. They, their whole life is built on a lie. And that's why you mad at me or you mad at any other tarot reader that gets up here and tells you the truth. Like I say, look in the mirror. Don't look at us. Enlightenment. <sighs> yeah, so you know, there was somebody that was working against you, Collective. Uh, this person, I feel like they're mad. Like current energy, I think this person's upset. Bobby, I mean, what's new? They always made it. You know, these are people that can't... You know, <laughs> they betrayed you thinking that was going to get them happiness and fulfillment. Okay, you betrayed me. You should be happy now. And that's the, that's the kicker, Collective. Like, these people betrayed you. You did not retaliate. And they still mad. Why are you still mad? Like, how? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I, I said late stages of syphilis. I, it's got to be. Yeah, but this is somebody mad at you, you know, maybe because you have stability. You know, whoever this is, you know, they smoke a lot of weed. This person seems slow. They might be kind of stupid, respectfully. Whoever it is, they've been enlightened. Maybe enlightened to the fact that they're stuck in the karmic cycle. <laughs> like you wake up the next morning like, damn, I'm still in the karmic cycle. Yup, you still in the karmic cycle. You ain't learned your karmic lesson, buddy. You still in that loop. <laughs> Still in that loop. Uh, the world in reverse is clarified by. Not that pinnacles in reverse. Somebody down bad. You know, this talks about the, lo the loss of a job, the loss of independence. You know, when I think of this card in reverse, I think of like going back home to live with your mama or like, you know, going from like a car to a scooter or a bus pass. You know, which we, we've all had to go through it. Trust. I done been on many a bus. I done took many a walk. You know, um, but the nine of pentacles is the opposite of independence. You know, this is somebody who has fallen off. You know, but the energy I'm getting, I've gotten thus far, whoever this is, they earned that. This nine of pentacles in reverse or whatever losses they've taken, they, they worked hard for them. You know, this isn't like, you know, somebody who is just, you know, going under some bad luck. This is somebody who has earned bad karma. Seven of pentacles in reverse already came out. This is somebody who has earned their bad karma. Maybe for working with a, pr a practitioner, or this person could be, you know, somebody who practices occult uh, studies, does spell work, magic of some sort. High priestess in reverse is a very spiritual person. It can be a man or a woman. This person just does, you know, they mislead others. You know, they don't, they operate from their lower chakras. So, you know, 
Somebody want to come come in from out of the cold. Like I say, somebody's in a bad situation. Uh, like I said, every single pinnacle you see these pinnacle every when a pinnacle card come out, they're in reverse. Five of pinnacle, two of pinnacles in reverse, six of pinnacles in reverse, uh, nine of pinnacles in reverse, seven of pinnacles in reverse, four of pinnacles in reverse, five of pinnacles in reverse. So that lets you know right here, collective, whatever uh, this person was focused on, it was money. Whatever they, you know, whatever they did, it was uh, in the hopes of receiving money. It was all about money to this person. And that's why everything that correlates to money is in reverse. Besides the Ten of Pentacles, which is divinely ordained for you. This was your DM. It was divinely ordained for them. So they fucked it up, you know? That's their business, though. We're not worried about that. Somebody wants to come in from out of the cold. They might want to see him. You know, they might want to get in touch, step up and, and step into their higher selves. It's this emperor in reverse. You know? First, I might want to see him, but like I say, wanting to ascend and actually doing it, two totally different things. It's easy to want to ascend, but collective y'all know good and well. It's hard to actually do it. It takes heart. It takes faith. It takes your own personal power. You know, you got to pull that back. Take it back to yourself, you know? The Emperor in reverse is clarified by Eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody's blocked. <laughs> you might have this person blocked. They might have you blocked. Uh, you know, it's also about quick communication that doesn't come. This person's sick. You know, could be having some type of health issues. Um, could be feeling under the weather. Could be tired. You know, could be contemplating, praying. This person's receiving bad news. Page of Wands in reverse. This is uh, bad news, you know? I don't know. Yeah, this person's receiving bad news. Like, maybe, I don't know if, like, a paternity test came back. A DNA test or, like, a, uh, a court ruling, a verdict of some sort. Some test results. I don't know. It's bad news for somebody. Uh, in relation to a family. Somebody could be receiving bad news about their family right now. This emperor in reverse. You know, could have found out something, you know, not too good about their family. Four of Pentacles in reverse. You know, Four of Pentacles talks about somebody who is selfish, greedy, and hanging on to something way too tight. You know, in reverse, this person is, you know, coming out of that energy of being selfish and being greedy. You know, this is somebody that... They're letting go. They have to let go. Or it could be somebody holding on extremely tight. Um, it's clarified by three cups. The sun in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Two of cups. Yeah, so somebody, you know, this emperor in reverse, this person, like I say, maybe they wanted to reach out. Maybe you have this person blocked. Maybe they have you blocked. You know, uh, whatever the case, you know, the uh, the communication is blocked. Could be the the, the the divine could be blocking it as well. You know, spirit might be keeping you away from this person. But this first, this person's receiving bad news. And this is either current energy or near future. Bad news in relation to a family. You know, something to do with their family. And you know, uh, my deepest condolences, you know, to those of you who have lost anybody recently, or I mean ever, um, you know, my deepest condolences. Um, you know, try to stay lifted in prayer and, uh, you know, it's, it's never easy, but um, I don't know why I felt, I don't know. Somebody's receiving bad news and it has something to do with their family. Um, Like I say, we have another pinnacle card in reverse. Four of pinnacles in reverse, you know. Uh, it's somebody having to release. If it has something to do with money, they're, they're having to release those funds. They're having to come up off of that money. You know, it's a loss. A loss of a pinnacle in reverse is a loss of pinnacles in one way or another. A loss of something of value. I feel like there's a group. Three of, three of cups, you know, can talk about a group. You know, uh, a group with, you know, similar interests. I'm going to stop saying those two C words because I, I see I'm triggering folks. They even got in my email, y'all. I'm triggering folks. So, uh, yeah, three of cups could be a group, you know, three little witches. 
or you know, three little warlocks. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this pe this group is having a, you know, maybe they're having to release something. They're having to like, you know, this could be the same group of people, this family and this three of cups. You know, there's some bad news. It could be a family receiving some bad news. You know, maybe this emperor's family is receiving some bad news. They got to let something go or something's being taken from them. Uh, whatever it is, it has them really unhappy. There's not going to be any growth. There's no growth, no expansion, and they're not going to be happy with this. Two of Cups, you know, this talks about a love partnership. Okay, so yeah, there's like a group. There is a family somewhere receiving bad news. There's a group somewhere having to let go of something. There's someone that's extremely unhappy and wanting a Two of Cups situation, but they don't think it's going to happen. They're not feeling too optimistic about that happening. This energy, and like I said in the opening, I'm not calling anybody in particular. <laughs> I'm not calling anybody in particular a trash box or a trash bag. But you see the card? It says trash box, trash bag. You know, for those of you who've been rocking with me, you know about this. Uh, my new faces. A trash box, trash bag is a clown. This is a bozo. Somebody who plays way too many games. You know, they play stupid games and they win stupid prizes. They look stupid in the end because they make stupid choices. Trash box or trash bag is clarified by social media in reverse. King of Swords. King of Cups. Queen of Wands. But not they all in the upright. This is uh, a blasphemy. This is not, uh, not they all in the upright. <laughs> That's funny. It could be three people talking about you on social media. You could have three people blocked. I feel like this King of Swords, I feel like this is, these are different people. King of Swords in the upright, King of Cups in the upright. King of Cups typically is the one that, you know, your former counterpart. Or maybe your, you know, your counterpart. Could still be your counterpart. Uh... King of Cups is typically, you know, the DM. He could be carrying both King of Swords and King, King of Cups energy. Um, but we got Queen of Wands in the upright. When is she in the upright? Very rarely, you know, when it's talking about collective. But, you know, uh, that's usually the Karmic Fem. Let me pull a few more. Ace of Cups is talking about you. That's why Queen of Wands in the upright. It's talking about you, collective. Page of Swords. Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody wants a passion new beginning in love, you know, and I don't know, it could be, you know, another energy. Because that, that just feels weird, all three of them being in the upright, because that's not the energy I'm feeling. Somebody wants a passion new beginning. This is the karmic. This is the karmic. Like I said, it's like sometimes, you know, I don't know, and I've heard a couple other readers talk about it. You know, I don't know if people try to project onto our reads, but you know, if you're like really intuitive, if you're truly intuitive, you know, you can kind of, like I said, I feel the energy. I see the card in the upright, but I feel the energy. You know, um, yeah, I just don't feel right. Or, you know, people can, like I say, shapeshifters, they change their energy. They can cloak their energy, you know, and that's that's what I'm saying, too. Like, I see the truth of the matter, though. I feel the truth of the matter. So a car being upright, like, I'm, I don't feel like no upright energy, you know. And typically, you know, the Queen of Cups, you know, a lot of times she's in the upright. This feels like, this feels like you. This feels like collective energy. It came out reversed, though. And that's what I'm saying. This feels like collective energy. It came out reversed. It would make more sense for them to be the other way, though. Like, there's a distorted masculine, a distorted feminine. One of them wants, you know, to make some type of love offer, or one of them is hoping to get a love offer. It's karma could be wanting to get a love offer or a passion new beginning in love with your masculine. Your masculine could be wanting to get a passion new beginning in love with you, whatever the case. This Queen of Wands in the upright is slandering you, talking trash about you, spying on you, watching you from a distance, because that's all these lames can do. That's all they do. They don't have it. It's not like they have kids, they have jobs, they have, I mean, like, seriously. They have so much other shit that they could be, like, worried about. Worry about your children. Worry about yourself. 
So the focus is on somebody who's not worried about you. But yeah, they're slandering. They're still talking, still gossiping, spying, uh, talking about you. Queen of Cups, somebody who's a role model. Somebody who has come a long way. A lot of y'all are in Empress energy, and it is not easy to become an Empress. You have to go through hell. You go through a lot. You experience a lot. But also, you know, Queen of Cups. This person didn't get that, that heart of gold in that compassionate, generous nature by, you know, having an easy life. That was built, you know, that was earned. And I, of course, they always gonna talk about you, still talking about you. Bottom of the deck, we have the page of Pentacles in reverse. You know, this, this is uh, the denial of an offer. You know, somebody was wanting an offer, they didn't get it, you know? Um, it could be an offer of commitment. Somebody's not making an offer. There's someone that's not making an offer. Page of Pentacles in reverse are not making an offer because this person is weak. They lack courage. They lack a backbone. They can't take accountability and be truthful about what they did. You know, so they can't come towards you and make an offer because they're, yeah, it's a wuss. Respectfully, it's a coward. They don't have the strength to come towards you. Make the right choice in love. After making the horrible choice, they don't have the, like, this, is, this person's weak and stuck. Weak and stuck. They want a passion new beginning, but this person feels defeated. They do have remorse. This is somebody that wants to say sorry, you know, but justice is going to be served regardless. I feel like this is somebody that kind of, they do in underneath it all want to make it right. But, you know, this is somebody like, say you have, you know, this person wants to make it right. But if you actually did, like, you know, happen to have a conversation with this person, they're going to be on the same bullshit. They're going to want to curse at you. They're going to want to, you know, call you out your name. They're going to want to accuse you of everything that they've done, gaslight you, and make it your fault. You know, try to twist up your mind like they used to. This is still... Yeah, because it's somebody who tried to win by deceit. And like I said, they uh, there is a twin. Somebody feels bad. They do have remorse. But I think they only feel sorry because they got caught. Justice. That's, uh, that's the energy I get. Somebody who's only sorry because they got caught. This could have been your twin flame. This could have been your twin flame. But even if it was a false, say this was a false flame, you know after you go through that bullshit with the clown, the bozo, the false twin, your real one comes in. This person has been the, the, has experienced the same things that you have. So they have a certain level of understanding, a huge level of understanding, you know? You guys get each other. You respect each other. You love each other. And it's all mutual because you guys have been through the same thing. You know, two parts of one soul. And that's the truth. <laughs> Somebody could be wanting to release, you know, their vampire ways, you know, because they realize who their true, their true twin flame is. This person could be releasing toxicity, you know, following a tower moment. This is somebody who walked away from you and they want to walk back. This person's drinking a lot, though. Thinking about the past. They're not in a stalemate anymore. They've made a decision. This person has made their mind up. They're just under judgment currently. You know, this is somebody who was selfish, emotionally selfish. They didn't give to the connection. And this is somebody who is, you know, experiencing a loss, taking an L. You know, uh, Six of Wands in reverse. It talks about, you know, losing, shame, embarrassment. Knight of Pentacles, you know, this person might want to come in with the offer, but you know, this is somebody that. They just need to get themselves together because they're going through a lot of changes. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, every Pentacle card is in reverse. Every, y'all, I can't make this up. Every Pentacle is in reverse. So this is somebody who left you and betrayed you for money. And that's why every Pentacle, where it counts, there is no money. Like, that's how it works. Like, people go against God's chosen, God's anointed. Somebody totally undeserving. You betray the collector for money, and now you have cursed yourself. You have a financial curse. You can't keep money since you want to betray good people for money. And like I say, these people are stupid collector because they couldn't, like, seriously, repent. Change your ways. It's not that simple. We all have gone through it. Like I say, a lot of people, uh, somebody told me, oh, you think you're a saint? I'm not a saint. I never claimed to be. Shit. But I am proud of my change because I had the courage to do it. Just like the collective. You had the courage to do it. These punks didn't. Now they want to talk shit. Either way, you've been prayed up. You know, you're connected. Uh, Empress energy, you know, man or woman. This person's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, white magic. 
you've been tapped in. You might have certain rituals you do of your own, white magic, protection rituals, uh, just stuff, you know, that doesn't harm anybody else, doesn't affect anybody else, you know, um, in a negative way. You could be praying, doing your affirmations, manifesting. You know, you've been tapped, you've been focused, you kept your eyes on the prize. You ain't worried about none of this bullshit that these clowns, these trash boxes are talking. Yeah, because somebody for the streets anyway. They were careless, reckless. They're for the streets. Meanwhile, the wheel has turned in your favor. This guilty person was an emotional manipulator with a whole lot of secrets. And the truth is, they probably didn't want to work with you in the beginning. They didn't want to work with you. You know, there's somebody who didn't see your worth. It took you growing. And like I said, for a lot of y'all, you know, God hid you in plain sight. Because had people knew who you were or what your potential was or what your destiny was or whatever the case, they would have taken advantage. They would have, you know, took, they would have took full advantage or ruined it for you. But praise God. Praise God. You know, he hid you. Your rejection was your protection. You know, as soon as you got away from them clowns, things started working out for you. That's because you ain't got no more snakes in the can, you know? Yeah, but there's somebody who had a lot of secrets and they're going through it. This person could be sick, like doing bad health-wise. I don't know why I feel that. This person was sneaky and deceptive. They lied, they cheated, they stole. Now they're heartbroken. In legal issues. Because all of their black magic is going back. Black magic in reverse. All of their black magic is going back. All of that manipulation is going back. All of those lies and slander are going back. And like I said, collective, who are they mad at? They did all the slander and they did all the lying. But who are they mad at? You. <laughs> Us. They mad at us. Anywho. And like I said, I'm not talking about anybody in specific. If it resonates for you, then you come up in karmic energy or you come up as, you know, a trash bag. If you resonate with that energy, then one, I apologize. I'm sorry you feel that way. Because that's not, nobody should feel like this guy. But then two, you need to look at yourself. Don't come for me when I'm just reading cards. Freaking narcissists, they're so vain, they think everything's about them. We're not all talking about you. It's not all about you. It's disgusting. I'm not going to do the mistake, but I am going to give y'all uh, some oracle. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their day. Um, all right, from Kali Ma, we have Anahata Kali. Anahata Kali. And from Starseed. Empathic Starseed. Energy sovereignty absorbing what's not yours. I feel like this one go hit. I feel I already feel like that's that's like that's the one for me today. Absorbing what's not yours. Like I say, they try to get you collective. Hey, you absorb their energy. Mm -mm. All right, uh, Let's start with uh, Star C because I'm I want to read this. Shout out to all my Star C's. What's up, fam? <laughs> all right, Empathic Star C. Empathic Star C's are here to shift the world through their physical presence alone. They don't need to do anything beyond being here. Thanks to the energetic change their physical presence causes. Due to their highly sensitive nature, empathic starseeds can struggle with being on earth and in a physical body. Many are prone to addiction and depression or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for their own. Natural introverts, they tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can be overwhelming for them. If this card appears, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put yourself under such pressure to go out into the world. Be gentle with yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically. If you're feeling pressured to keep up a certain pace, instead, put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. Do whatever you can to take the pressures of the world off of your plate. Switch off to switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our life is enough. This could be a phase you're going through or simply how you're being called to live your life. If your work involves giving to others, right now you're being called to keep something for yourself. You don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing before feeling you should offer it to the world. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. Collective. 
Empathic Star Seed. I needed this. This just spoke to me. Resonates 100%. They said many, many are prone to addiction and depression and tend to mistake other people's feelings for their own. Because, you know, we feel feelings. And that's the ticket. Once you, once you can decipher what's really yours and what's all that other bullshit that somebody else is throwing to you, man, it's, cake. it's a cakewalk after that. You know, it's smooth sailing after that. That was a good one. I like that. Empathic star seed. A lot of you are empathic star seeds. You're empaths. You're star seeds. All right. Anahata Kali. Beautiful, powerful mother of the sacred universal heart who lives within our hearts as the wisdom and healing power of love. Your heart knows how to heal and how to open, how to break and repair itself to become stronger and wiser than before. Your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place. Your heart wisdom and empowerment are growing. Soon you should have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something very important for your soul's journey. Trust in the invisible workings of the divine love. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Trust in the invisible workings of divine love. Let your heart be at peace. Anahata Kali. Your heart knows how to heal, how to open, how to break and repair itself. You know, a lot, of, a lot of your hearts have done exactly that. You know? It's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to give you guys a quick little prayer. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. That Oracle was hidden. Especially that, that Star C card. Well, and I, I felt it when I pulled it out. Like, I need to hear this. Okay, I'm going to do something real short and sweet. This is a prayer for the blessing and favor um, of God. Um, I'm praying for everybody watching, all my star seeds, all my chosen ones, all you beautiful souls out there. Um, Lord, you have granted me life and favor. Lord, I thank you for life and life more abundantly. I thank you for favor coming upon my life. I believe that new life and new favor have been ordained for me. Today, I receive new life and new favor. I believe favor is a gift of heaven. I receive the gift of life, the gift of eternal life. I receive the gift of favor and the gift of grace, grace upon my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for new grace and new favor, new prosperity and new blessing coming on my life. I am the apple of God's eye. I am one of God's favorites. God favors me, loves me, and has chosen me from the foundation of the world to receive his grace and favor. I receive extraordinary favor on my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I always get real burpy. Like usually when I jump into like the mess deck or Oracle or especially this book, I get real burpy. But uh Yeah. I'm gonna close the reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there's some uh you know some guidance, some uh encouragement, you know, some clarity. Maybe you kind of put two and two together. Uh, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. You know, if it does not apply, let it fly. Um, thank you guys so much for being here with me. I love you guys so much. I love you guys to the moon and back. Um, you know, all of my old faces, my day ones that's been rocking with me. Uh, all the new faces, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, but I love you guys so much. You guys are so amazing. Collective energy is the best. My tribe's energy is the best. I love you guys. Um, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you so much. Um, it's a really big help, and I appreciate it. I love you. So anybody who gives those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes, thank you so much. It's a really big help, and I love you so much. Uh, to anybody that would like to donate to the channel, the links are going to be in the description box of this video. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes. You guys are so worthy, so deserving. And as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later.